first it said the radius of the first pi was, and the radius, like, here, you have to start at the middle and then go out. And the radius is from this point to one of the sides, and that was 4. And then the, the other one, its radius was 5.5. .5. And then, since this was talking about the circumference, we knew that we had to find the diameter, and the diameter is just um, straight through the middle of the circle. So this whole thing, this whole thing was 11, was 11, and this one was 8. So this would be eleven pi. And both of those added together I mean eleven subtracted by eight would give you three. Alright. Like, do we do the second one too? The second question too. Any questions? Um, never mind. Anybody else? Um, here's number number two. Number two is it said that if we change it to three point four, um. Like it'd be yes that you could still use it because the three point it wouldn't be exact. Oh, it wouldn't be exact. Well, you just explain. Three point four. If you use three point four, the answer wouldn't be the same because it's rounded up. It's not exact. So the question said that there was a small pizza and a medium pizza. And the small pizza was the small pizza's radius was four inches and the larger one was five and a half. And it asked that <clears throat> what's the difference between the circumference and the diameter it is Two times the radius, and that's eight, and that's eleven, and, <coughs> and the circumference of this is eight pi, this is eleven pi, and you subtract that, you get three pi inches. Okay, and for <coughs> number two, For number two, it asks if you decide to use 3.14 for pi, would the answer still look the same? No, it wouldn't because it'd be slightly, well, it's rounded, just like if you were to round 2.99, like like talking like money. So $2.99 if you were to round it up to $3. Now, if you have like 
two pairs of socks. Well, a pair of socks that cost uh, two ninety nine, and the cash register person rounded it up to three dollars. You would actually uh, be missing two cent in tax. Like if they add tax, it'd be you'd be paying more. So your difference would be slightly higher, just a little bit higher. Are there any questions? Because it's the same scenario, just different numbers. If you round up pi, like it's pi is three. Well, that the simplified version is three point one four. So if you were to just if you were to continue it out, your answer will be more exact. Just if you were to use that, your answer will be more exact. Like if you had like two pairs of socks or whatever, if you used two point ninety nine, your total would be more exact than if you were to use three dollars. Yes, it will look different. It'd be less exact. Any other questions? The diameter it's the radius times two, so eight and eleven. And so that's eight pi and eleven pi to get the circumference. And we did exact measurements because on the second question it's um would it be more exact or would it help? So we got for the small pizza. 25.13 and for the large pizza I mean the medium pizza we got Basically, the difference between them is, like, as Kayla's group said, they're, it's like, these are more exact answers than these themselves. The actual difference we got, it was 9.42. subtracted we got 9.4 we got all those but then when we used uh, 3.14 as the rounded version of pi for the um, small pizza we got the circumference 25.12 and then for the medium pizza we got 34.54 and then the difference difference between these two is actually just the 9.42. So it's 9.42. So yes, the answer is right. It just 
just makes it more exact when you use actual pi instead of 3.14. Okay. So to work the those problems, you use the exact pi? Mm -hmm. On the calculator. On, on the okay. okay. So you're saying that, that 25.1327 is more exact than the a in the pi symbol? No, that's this is that. So we just, we actually, how yeah. can that 2.513 can be a, a, that when pi is the, we use the pi symbol yeah, on the top, but that order. can't give you the exact pi to the center. But that's, that's what we use, because it makes it more exact than just the 3.14. So y'all are saying that a, the pi symbol is more exact than the 2.5132? It's the same thing. How can it be the same thing? When it just gives you a more exact answer than 3.14. I know, but it cannot be the same thing. It's well, the pi so symbol. I, I, think, I understand what you're saying, but I think they've answered it as it relates to what they are talking about. And we're going to get to what you're talking about. Right, so why don't you just use the pi symbol? That's, that's what it. we did. Oh, you mean like eight yeah. pi? We I didn't even think about that. <laughs> we, didn't, we just thought it would be more like. Never mind. It's gonna be the same thing. I want to make sure all of you ask your question. I have the same question. So, here, I think what has happened with with you guys is you think that the pi button on the calculator is the Greek letter. Because it has the Greek letter on the calculator key, right? But the calculator has still estimated the value of pi. Even though it's you're correct that it is more digits than 3.14, it is more accurate than 3.14, but that is not using the Greek letter which is the only way to give an exact answer. And I think we can make that point as we keep going. Go ahead, Nate. Just to um, expand on what she said, um, the calculator has a limited number of slots that it could put numbers in on that top piece. And I doubt it has that many slots. Yeah, yeah that's not even the whole thing. Yeah, that's not even the whole thing. It, you would need to put an ellipsis between those numbers on the end and the inches symbol thing. So did anyone else use the calculator key? Yeah. But did I, anyone actually calculate these answers using 3.14? So will the calculator key give you more accurate answer than 3.14? Will it give you a more accurate answer than the pi symbol? No. No. Okay. Landon? I don't see how you could get the exact answer when writing out all the numbers when if you multiply by pi, you have to multiply it by the infinity times the numbers. It's not the exact number, it's just more exact than the Greek number. So there's no way to do I don't see how that could be more exact. That has more digits, Landon, than 3.14. So you're saying just because it has more digits, it's more It's closer to that. Well, this poster is closer than 3.14. Do you agree? Those digits on the poster that we looked at? So the more digits you have, the more accurate you are. But we just can't find the end. We just, sometimes we just use an estimation because we want to get close. Sometimes we want an exact answer, that's when we use pi. I want to ask this question, which was not part of what you're doing. I want you to keep this in the back of your mind. Why would we want to have two different values? Why wouldn't we just, it's so much easier to just calculate with pi symbol. All you have to do is double the radius or half the diameter and you're cooking, right? This is easy if we just use the pi symbol and our answer is more exact. So why would we ever want to substitute a value like 3.14 in there? Why is that useful? I guess to compare the values or, I don't know, well, kind of like compare it. Well, maybe. 
maybe because it might just depend on the situation that you're given. Like if it were just a word problem, but I think 3.14 is real, is like real world, you know, like something that you could, 3.14 is the basis of pi. But the pi symbol, you can't like, if you're doing a job or something and you need to know the circumference of a table so you can make the table, you wouldn't give the carpenter three in the pie symbol. Like, you have to have a basis for your pie. Does that make sense to you, what she just yes, said? Yes, it does. We don't have a pie measuring tape, do we? Okay, that's good. All right. So let's go, uh, okay, this group right here, you go ahead. Okay, guys, we're going to stop here. Uh, we're not going to figure out how to do it here.